Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey, and today I wanted to take you through my progressive content creation system that I built using the note-taking app, Rome. Now, the purpose of the system is to take the thoughts and ideas that I have, either just randomly or from consuming books or movies or podcasts, whatever, and turning it into a piece of content that I can release. Now, there's two things that this system needs to be able to do. It needs to be frictionless. It needs to be as easy as possible to capture ideas, allow me to review them and progress them simultaneously. And to go along with that simultaneous, it really needs to be parallel processing capable. I need to be able to process multiple different content types and be able to manage things being at different stages of the process at all times. So the theme that I'm going with is one that I picked up from Maggie Appleton's digital garden, and it's all around plants. So when you have an idea that's really uh, a seedling, so I put the tag seedling on it in Rome, and anytime I come up with an idea while I'm journaling, while I'm processing literature notes, whatever, I'm going to take that down either one of two paths. Either it's going to be planted, and I can progressively summarize my own thought, trying to pick out the key aspects of it, think about what kind of content I want to create with it, and then I'll either create a new project or add it to an existing one, if one already exists, that might uh, be a good fit. Or if it's something that is a lower value idea or needs a bit more time or info before I really want to develop it, then I'll put it into storage. And the good thing about putting it into storage versus just deleting it is I'll have this repository of ideas that maybe in a year or longer, I could go back and revisit and things might just trigger a good idea that I can develop a little bit further. So once something has been planted, then it's all about growing it into a piece of content that can be released, whether it be a tweet, and I recently joined Twitter, you can check me out at Jeffrey Weber underscore, or perhaps something bigger like a video, or maybe in the future I want to do blogs or a newsletter. But since these are a bit bigger of a project, there's going to be multiple phases that I'm going to need to keep track of from brainstorming all the way through the finishing steps. And then once it's done and released, I don't want to just archive it away and never be able to easily access it. I really want to add it to my evergreen forest, which is really my second brain system that I have. So once it's done, I'll connect it or create a new evergreen note so that I can capture all the information and the learnings and the thought that went into creating that piece of content so it isn't lost into the recesses of my note-taking app. So now let's dive into Rome itself and see how this was built and how it functions for me. Okay, so here we are in Rome, and this is my content creation page. I use queries to pull everything from my Rome graph, no matter where it is, to show up on this one consolidated location using the different tags. And then I also have some Kanban boards set up so I can visually see better where things are at in the process. But with the queries, what makes it frictionless to use is if I'm just in my daily note and I come up with a good idea, then I just need to give it the seedling tag. And I don't have to worry, it'll just show up right here on this page. I don't have to break my thought to go and try to navigate to a different location in order to be able to capture it. I can capture it anywhere that I am and I know that it will show up here. And then when I want to process these, I can maybe pick something out around, you know, a not to do list might be might be the key thing that I want to do here. Perhaps this might make a good a good tweet. It might also make a good video so I can put those tags to this idea and maybe the tweet will be something around. So now I have a tweet that's ready to go whenever I want to release one and you can see because I put the tweet tag it shows up in my tweets section so I have a list of ones that when I want to put out a tweet I can just come here for an idea and then release it. And then for my video, I know that I don't have a project already ongoing for this one. So I'm going to think of, well, what might be a good title? And then I'll just create the page right here. So, 
And then because there's multiple stages with videos, I'm just gonna tag this as the idea one for right now. And so there's nothing else that I wanna do with this idea, so I'm gonna mark it as planted. And then that way it's going to be removed from my seedlings section. And say this one I don't wanna develop a little bit more, I will mark it as uh, hibernate. And then that'll also get it out of my seedling section. So this query is set up to look for anything that has the seedlings tag, but does not have the hibernate or planted tag in it. My tweet section is very simple. Anything that has the tweet tag and is not marked as complete. So once I go ahead and tweet this out, so I don't end up tweeting the same thing over and over again, I will just mark it as complete. And then that way that removes it from this section. For videos, anything with the idea will just show up in this long list of ideas phase. And then as I'm progressing things, I can change this idea tag to brainstorming, outlining, or finishing, and it'll automatically show up here because I have the Kanban board set up with uh, using queries instead of having to manually create the cards themselves. So it's a nice little use of queries within Kanban boards. So the one other thing that I want to do before I complete a piece of content is link it into my second brain or my evergreen note system. So for this one, I know that I don't have anything right now about a not to do list. So if I come up and just create a page for not to do list, List. If I shift click, it'll open in the sidebar and then I can load up my evergreen note template and I can just control drag this block under my literature notes and then that's it. I now have a evergreen created for this. I have some ideas for what can go there and I can just close and then that'll be ready and waiting for when I want to develop that evergreen note some more. The key here is to make it small, easy steps that you're more likely going to be able to do that you can continue to progress things through to completion rather than feeling like you just have to do all of the work at once up front regardless of what it is you feel like doing. All right, so that's the system that I built in Rome that I'm currently using for creating content, but I think that there's some functionality here that could be applicable to multiple different things, whether it be work projects or your own just personal knowledge management system. Let me know what you think of this video down in the comments below, if there's anything useful that you were able to get out of it, and I'll see you all next time.